Holy, oh my gosh, okay. I have like numbness going through my actual whole body. Welcome, students, leaders, parents, whoever that is watching this. Welcome to the next installment of Hot Ones, Awakens Hot Show with hot wings and hot sauces and hot questions. Welcome our next guest, Shannon Gilbert. Hey. We're going to get after it. Let's do it. Well, we are here and we are ready to do this. Now, Shannon, have you seen these episodes before? Yeah. Wonderful. Now, I would just like to fill in both Shannon and whoever is, chooses to tune into this that this is the first episode that we have upped our hot sauce collection. So we have added three new hot sauces which are incrementally hotter than they've been in the past. But we're going to start off simple. Our first sauce is Crystal Household Regular Louisiana's Pure Hot Sauce. A little bit of bite, but honestly, it's just good. Oh, I'm scared. Mmm, don't cry. Okay. The elephant in the room, Shannon. For a long time, you've been ooh. For a long time, you've been well known here because your husband may or may not be the student <laughs> pastor of this church. Yeah. I think everyone would like to know what is it like to be the wife of a young pastor. I mean, just being married to Alex in general is a roller coaster in of itself. But a young pastor, it's a lot. I mean. The unpredictable schedules, you know, just being busy here and there, doing um, crazy things like this, <laughs> you know, are on his schedule, so I'm penciling that in. So a lot of times I think people would view it as this glamorous, like, oh, you're a pastor, you have this free schedule, you get to love on people as a profession, but it's definitely got its tough sides. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, um, and it's something that we've grown in being married for four years now. Um, Kind of had to figure that kind of stuff out with scheduling and stuff like that. A lot of evenings and stuff like that. But I mean, it's, it's been good. A lot of wild kids at your house. Uh, yeah, that's changed since we had kids. It hasn't been as, as crazy, but. Because y'all yes. can't be around Hads because Hadley's adorable, okay? Wing sauce number two Martha's Vineyard. Like, there's a wild chick on there just like dancing and it says it's gonna get ya. Uh. Boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it burns a little bit. Yeah, that one does. <clears throat> you have now lived in PA your whole life. Mm -hmm. You lived in Georgia for the vast majority of your life. Yeah. And then due to that first question, Alex's pastoral role here, you, uh, maybe for lack of a better term, uprooted all the way to PA, kind of on a whim uh -huh. for marriage, really. He right. was like, hey, we're getting married, move up here. Now, some people don't like Pennsylvania. I like Pennsylvania. Some people have all these say, you know, the South is where it's at. Some people say the North is where it's at. You know, uh, I don't know, because I've really only ever lived here. Could you give us two things you like better about Georgia, but then also two things you like better currently about PA? Georgia, the food for sure. I knew that was gonna Can't be Can't go wrong, yeah, I mean. The PA Dutch, I mean, come on. No, it's like good southern food, cornbread. Mm. Um, yeah, I can't think of other Hot uh, wings? Yeah, yeah. And then another thing about Georgia, I guess kind of going hand in hand, like the accents and the southern hospitality. You think you like the accents yeah. there better? Mm. Oh, y'all say, I said y'all, y'all say a while that like I don't get that. Like, oh, come in here a while. Wow, what? Like, okay. I don't get it. For all our viewers, don't fault her for not understanding a while, okay? But while she's confused, her we're going to ask her more questions a while. Um, better about Pennsylvania, at least, I don't know, where we live in Pennsylvania. It's actually more rural than where I'm from in Georgia, which people are usually surprised by that. But I like the, the views. I think it's prettier as opposed to just like buildings. I can see like hills and farms and oh, stuff yeah. like that. And then just the community, um, I think even before... I actually got married and moved up here. I would come to visit a lot, so. <laughs> uh -oh. mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. I would come to visit a lot, so that helped like build some relationships and friends. And I really struggled with community down there, um, so that's been huge for us. You know, Alice even since being here, but um, after moving up. 
So right. the people are better. Here's where we enter the new wings. We haven't entered into this territory quite yet. Um, but this is called Blair's Original Death Sauce. Now I'd like you to notice the word death. And it adds with Chipotle as if that like makes death better. But uh, we're just going to find out. But we're just going to do it. <laughs> I still don't have to taste it on. Yeah, it doesn't taste good. Yeah. Next question. Oh, yeah, that's lingering a little bit. In the in the day, back in the day, not that the day's not now, but back in the day. Back in the day, because I'm so old. Right. Back in the day, you you were a very good swimmer. Yeah. As well as you coached swimming, uh, even here in Susquehanna, mm -hmm. correct? So my uh, question. I have two, it's a two-part question. First part of the question is this. Through your athletic experiences of swimming, what was your best or most exciting or biggest achievement during swimming? Junior year of high school, um, for summer summer league, I went to state. So what happens is like you go to county, if you make the top three, you go to state, and then you compete in state. And I actually got sixth in state for backstroke. Dang. Which was pretty cool. Um, which is kind of funny because I actually I hated backstroke so much growing up that I would actually skip my events until my coach like would, my coach would find me and yell at me because I hated it so much. You but have gone first. I know if I had practiced a little bit more, but that's why my biggest accomplishment. But I love coaching. I think afterwards that was really fun to teach people how to swim. <laughs> well, right, and that's often a common transition for a successful athlete to transition to coaching because yeah. they want to impart their wisdom or their skills or abilities. So the second part of the question is right on that note. What advice would you give to those of us who are a tad bit swimming impaired <laughs> to be better swimmers? Well, you could always just do what my dad did like when I was two. He just literally threw me in the pool. Daddy. He oh. like figured out, so it worked, I guess, but. So for the doggy paddlers, yeah, dive in and don't <laughs> die. The biggest thing that people don't work on right away that hinders them later is like the breathing technique. So then they like hyperventilate because mm -hmm. they're like not breathing properly. That's me. And then, you know. You I don't know. like to exercise with <laughs> limited oxygen. Wing four sauce okay, four. This, is, this is where it significantly ramps up. We already have some boogers coming, <laughs> which you know what's coming next. This is called pain 100%. No definition needed because it's 100% of what it says. Here we go. Really, this one, it, it's got like little peppers Yeah, it's and chunky. Stuff on it. Peppers, seeds. Oh, it doesn't taste good. That's hot. Mm-hmm. Oh man. That's a significant ramp up. <coughs> Woo! I'm gonna drink water. <laughs> oh. Oh, breathing out hurts. Breathing out hurts. I just like to clarify something. I'm not good at this either. So this isn't enjoyable for anybody. We have a segment on this show. I'm crying a little bit. It's called Explain That Gram. You asked if we had done anything like this? Yeah. We did. Now, we took a twist on it because rather than find embarrassing photos of you, we found a recurring type of photo that you seem to post. And we'd like explanation of why. Because we know at times this has been a point of contention for you and Alex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a few photos here. Okay? So here we go. So there's one. There's two. Yet another one. There's another one. I'll just like to point out, these weren't hard to find. So, and there were many more. Our question is, why? And does Alex ever wake up? Well, I think two of those five were staged. Oh, wow, that sucks. Yeah. Blew but, it. Oh my gosh, it hurts. It literally hurts. Yeah, it's not fun. Okay, um, so it started with Insta Stories. I think the first time I walked in, or he went to go wake Hadley up from her nap. And it was really quiet for like five minutes, so I went in afterwards. Oh my gosh. It's like numb Ooh, now. This one okay. sucks. Um, and I think it was the first picture he showed me. That one was real. And he was out and I put it on my Insta story. And then the other few happened a couple days later. 
and he'd get really mad at me for posting. He's like, people are gonna think I'm a deadbeat dad. People are gonna think <laughs> I don't do anything and I just sleep or nap all the time. And there are other ones of like just him sleeping, not with the girls. But, oh man. Yeah, he doesn't like it. He, he thinks that people are gonna think some kind of thing about him. But. So it, it started as like, I genuinely think this is adorable mm -hmm. that my hub's like, loves, you know, his daughters. Yeah. And then it turned into like, Haha. Ha. Yeah, and that's why some of them were like, not staged so much, but like, he might have just had his eyes closed for a second. And you knew what it. you were doing. Yeah. Right. So clarification, Ooh, Alex that. Gilbert, not Deadbeat Dad. Our last sauce is a return sauce. In the past, uh, this sauce has destroyed a few people in, in not good ways. It's called the Bomb Beyond Insanity. I'm gonna be honest, I'm extra worried about the fact that I feel where I do now and we still have this to go. Um, but listen, we do this for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna pay for this. Represent, no. We'll cut the check later. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Slow motion. Mm, okay. I actually have like, like, <coughs> oh, it's right on the back of my throat. Holy, oh my gosh, okay. I have like numbness going through my actual whole body. Just hold on. Uh. It feels poor in my stomach. Last question. I want this to be the question that you think the hardest about and get the most emotional about through your pain. Follow your pain. Your daughters are currently two years old. In what, seven months? Six, yeah. Close. Six months. They're adorable. They don't know better about anything right now. Flash forward. They're 18 and 16 years old. If they look back and watch this, what advice do you want to give them as young women going into college, exploring life? What do you want them to know if they watch this 16 years from now? I'm crying. Well, Sorry. yeah, it's emotional. I get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want them. I can't even talk. It hurts to talk. Oh my gosh. Hadley's 18, about to leave for college. What does she need to know? Um. Okay, seek Jesus and everything. Don't touch your eyes. Oh, I didn't. I touched my cheek. Okay, seek Jesus and everything. You don't need a man to, you know, fulfill you or satisfy you. But if you do date, find someone like your dad. Or Phil Cook. Possibly. Ooh. Okay. Get him with one more. What, um, I, what do I need to know? Oh my gosh. Find things that are life-giving and make the time to do them. Ooh. Because that's something that I've been realizing lately. I haven't been prioritizing that. And now that I am prioritizing that, it's extremely beneficial. Brings me closer to Jesus. Ooh. And encourages me to, oh my gosh, be a better person. <sighs> yeah, I can't even think straight. Yeah, just, we'll take that. Holly Kingsley. If you watch this in 16 years, just know it was worth it. Shannon, oh. we did it. I'm gonna be honest, I think this actually might have been the worst that this has yeah. ever been with these new shoes. <laughs> I have such bad tingles in my whole face. Uh huh. You killed it, we're done. You have 30 seconds. Tell the students whatever you want them to know about you. Give them some nuggets, give them something. 30 seconds, spotlight's yours, go. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm thankful for you guys and how supportive you are to um, me and Alex and our family and how much you love on us. Woo! Run after Jesus, tell your friends. Don't eat this. It's bad, real bad. Sorry, I blow my nose. <laughs> Thank your leaders for pouring into you guys. Um, they spent a lot of time investing in you to um, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> For the sake of the kingdom of God, but yeah, and any other tidbits? Prank Alex as much as possible. Oh, yeah. Well, that is it. Okay. I literally, my face is, is vibrating. It's the most weird sensation. New wings, new level. We're about the business here at Awaken. Share this video, click the subscribe button, smash the like button, comment, do everything to help us get this out there. Know that we love you, Jesus loves you, and that is all we got. We're out. Peace.